where our struggles are one struggle, it becomes possible to change the structure. Fighting the weakest replaces changing the structure and chives away from facing to the real struggle, sometimes called class struggle. Fighting the weakest is a sign of not facing up to the real struggle that words like class struggle and antagonism try to carve out. Capitalism needs class struggle denialism. Seeing that there is real struggle frees us from the unreal capitalist freedom fantasy. Freedom in capitalism only strives for the freedom of needing to be shielded from everyone through wealth. Class struggle denialism claims that any struggle is doomed to always be between particular camps and that rights for all of any camp are impossible. Class struggle denialism is done for the few, but enjoying persecuting the few means to fall into an anti-universal spiral. Fighting against rights for all is a dark enjoyment. Persecuting is never universalist and tends to follow its absorbing logic to the end of the dark enjoyment. What are the coordinates today that set our minds into often opposite of uh, positions? Class struggle means that we don't strictly fight each other, but fight the frame, upholding today's shared coordinates.